Thank you for viewing this video. My name is Damien Kohal, Program Coordinator of the Bachelor of Health Science degree. In this video, I will share some details about the Bachelor of Health Science degree, which will be offered September 2015. The Bachelor of Health Science degree trains persons excluding physicians to essentially establish careers within health sciences. Persons who are keen on undertaking this degree are persons who are keen on working in insurance companies, hospitals, uh, long-term care homes, NGOs which are health specific, uh, public health agencies, inclusive of government ministries of health and environment among others. The program is developed around a central biomedical core which essentially will pass on to students the fundamental principles of the biological sciences which are critical in the research and actual service provision within health. The Objectsport program essentially uh, centers around three main aims. First and foremost is essentially to develop a cadre of research uh, graduates who will be able to function effectively in industry and also at the postgraduate level. Number two essentially looks at the development of professionals who will be able to provide services within the health uh, care industry. And last but not least, uh, to produce persons who are competent scientific officers who will be able to function in ministries such as health and environment as public health officers or also environmental health officers. The structure of the program essentially is developed around the university semester based system. So the program can be completed in a minimum of six semesters or maximum 14 semesters. Students will be required to complete 96 credits of courses. Inclusive of these 96 credits are nine credits which are attributed uh, to the university foundation courses. Program will essentially be delivered by the usual methods which we're accustomed to in university teaching, didactic lectures, laboratory sessions, tutorials, seminars, uh, field work, and also there may be some practical experience for hands-on training. These faculties were able to mount a multidisciplinary approach in terms of program delivery. And out of that, we were able to establish concentration areas within this degree program in four main areas to start with, namely community health, biomedicine, ethics, humanities, and society, nutrition and society, healthcare administration, and management. If you require further details on these concentration areas, I will direct you to read the program description and program regulations which are affixed to the website as well. Students can matriculate into this program by attaining one of three options allowed uh, in our program regulations. First is uh, students who are currently at the secondary education level uh, can matriculate into the program by attaining five CXC subjects, namely English language, mathematics, biology, chemistry, and physics. Also, at the CAPE level, students are expected to pass two units of science-related subjects, chemistry, biology, or zoology, and also pursue a non-science subject. CAPE level, students are expected to uh, complete two units of chemistry, biology, or zoology, along with a non-science subject. Students who did not pursue CAPE, again coming out of the secondary level, could also consider to do the preliminary year in the Faculty of Science and Technology, ensuring that they capture credits in courses which are chemistry and biology related. Option B essentially will allow students or prospective students to apply to the program uh, outside of our jurisdiction with similar uh, entry requirements. Option C, as pointed out previously, uh, we appreciate that some of the persons who will be interested in enrolling to this program are persons who are currently working within health related fields. So we do have a mature cause 
and this clause allows for persons who have been working extensively in uh, health to apply to the program uh, with certificate qualifications or associate degrees in health that they may have acquired from an accredited institution. Also as a requirement, these persons must at least be able to show uh, some of the basic entry requirements, quite similar to option A, which of course you should be able to demonstrate competence at maths, English, biology, chemistry, and physics at the CXC, CSEC, O level. So fees, uh, tuition, very big and important question. Uh, the fee structure for this program will see students essentially paying a per credit fee of 410 Barbados dollars. Uh, because this is a new program and we are keen to have you apply to this program and become one of our matriculants, uh, we are offering other incentives. One of the incentives that we are currently discussing at the moment and will incorporate shortly is the actual uh, offer of a national vocational qualification or Caribbean vocational qualification along with the degree upon completion of the program. We are currently working with the TVET Council to explore this possibility to offer these qualifications in other health related fields which of course will complement the program overall, namely uh, occupational health and safety, uh, business administration which of course will tie in with our health services uh, component of the program, care of the elderly which will allow some of the persons who are keen on enroll into this program uh, to get gainful employment in long-term healthcare facilities and also board age homes. So with that overall uh, description uh, viewers, uh, you'd realize that in terms of our target market, we are aiming to get persons who are keen on uh, getting into health-related field directly out of the secondary school system, but we're also uh, attempting to attract our mature audience which of course these are persons with associate degrees maybe in nursing and other health related fields which they may have acquired through community college thanks again for viewing this video if there are any lingering questions uh, which may have resonated out of my presentation uh, please feel free to contact me uh, using the email address which is shown below in the caption of this video and also on the website. You may also want to call uh, the following numbers for further information. 417-4264 uh, which is our Dean's office and 417-4701 which is the Office of Undergraduate Affairs in Faculty. Thank you again for viewing.